Monterey Regional. Test page only, no emergency. Over here at the Hebron Center, uh, we work with CAS and have been working with the Community Alliance for Safety and Peace, known as CAS, since October of 2011. Since we've been in this location, we've had the opportunity to meet uh, many citizens out here from door-to-door -door contacts and as well as being flagged down by citizens curious as far as why the police cars over here at the Hebron Center. We um, speak to the community out here to make them aware that our presence is to reduce gang violence and at the same level contact as many kids who are and who are not involved with gang violence to try to bring them into the Hebron Center to show them ways to be off the streets and do something positive. Really, Charlie? Really? What's up, Charlie? Charles? How you doing? What's up, bro? Looking good today. Oh yeah, I just. You know what? Oh, the thing is this. I want to make myself up. Right. Well, that's what I like to hear, man. You gonna see it? I hope so. Yeah. I was getting scared the other day when you're hanging out with the drugs on the park. I know, but you know, one of the things this. If you good, you wanna find good things mm -hmm. in your life. Mm -hmm. But if you're wrong, if you're bad. Gonna follow you. Exactly. Yeah. We're happy to see that our presence here have started to exceed my expectations personally in regards to influence some of the young men and women to be more apt to communicate and talk to officers, whether it be myself or Officer Lopez, or they didn't know that officers um, appear to be just like regular people. They had assumed that officers were uh, mean-spirited individuals who do nothing more than arrest their family members as well as other people in the neighborhood and they did not know that our job was also to try to educate and communicate alternatives to these young people. a kid that was influenced mainly by Sudanians, but the fact that they moved here, now all of a sudden they're going to switch to become Nortenos. That's very common that we have that. Um, and even in this complex, you'll have three out of the four apartments that are associated with Nortenos criminal activity. And so we'll come in here and address those issues and talk with the parents and see what we can do to help them. And then we'll learn, for example, from the fun family associations that maybe one kid that lives here has a cousin that lives on the other, in the other apartment complex. And even there, when we go there, we'll find out that his cousin lives across the way from him and they get together and they smoke weed together and they get themselves in trouble together. And there's, so there's associations through family, associations through location, associations through school, all these little dynamics of how the, the gangs are networking. It's what we look into and see how we can disrupt. Being able to take the time and explain things makes a, a tremendous difference in a person's life and further uh, view of police, police officers in general.